Hello all. I am back with another journal share. This is just a flip through that I have. This is, uh, this um, journal is already taken, but I just wanted to show it to you. I think it is very beautiful and I enjoyed making it. I think this little girl is very cute. She's just adorable. I got this picture off of Pinterest and it just, she's so darling. But um, yeah, I got some a doily underneath this and then I put this on top. I got some cheesecloth up here hold it up a little bit I don't want to get out of frame and some cheesecloth here with two little pearl things and then some some ribbon here with pearls and then a bling bling I got a button here um, down here I got some fabric with the flower and a button right there and then two flowers here and two green leaves and this is one big doily and then another flower here and i just love this this fabric this is my spine hope i'm trying to get it in the frame there we go so it's just a white framer ivory and I just put this gold bow on here and some white, some white lace ruffle stuff. And then I put this pretty um, bead on here again. And then this is the back. Isn't this beautiful, beautiful um, fabric? I just love it. I got the I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. That's where I do most of my shopping for my crafts. And then here's my closure. It's just um, some ribbon, and it just wraps around back here like that. Because I have a little knob thing there and you just take it and you wrap it around as much as you want and then it stays so and then you do like that okay so let's get into the book okay so this paper is from anna griffin and up here i just put a little pocket thing here with some little flowers going across and then I just have a tag here with a button it says this book belongs to you can put your name on it or she can put her name on it I'm sorry and then this was part of my um, graphic 45 kit and then I put some doily cloth here in the middle and this is washi tape okay and then right here make sure I'm in frame this is a homemade tag that I made um, and I got it paper clipped on here because I didn't want it to come off you just pull it off and then you can journal and you can also journal on the back okay so I put some ribbon down here with three buttons and then I got that pretty purple and green lace and then here is three cards there's this little one and then my itty bitty tag. And then it says note to self. 
This one is, I believe, from Tim Holtz. So that just goes right like that. And then I got two more tags with buttons. This is from uh, Nevermore Creations um, shop from Lindsay. Um, she has a kit that has these. And then this I bought off of, oh, I can't remember. I think it might be Sue Olson, but I'm not for sure. Don't quote me on that. Then these is um, some people from um, Tim Holtz. And I put some more of the fabric that's on the book down. And I put this ticket behind it that you can journal on, or she can journal on. And then I put this flower trim down and then some more of this lace. And then this um, pretty lace. And so this is one of my homemade tags. And I just paper clipped it on there for her. Just like that. Then I predominantly left most of this blank for her. I did do a little corner here with um, a doily and some lace here and here, and then there's some more doily lace under there, and then some beige and gold fringy, and this bling bling purple button. <laughs> and you take this bunny paper clip off, and then you can pull this down and right inside. Let me move it so you can see. And then it folds back up. And then I just, I paper clip it so it doesn't flap open. That's that page. Here is a pocket I made and I put some cheese cloth here. And one of my pretty bows with a, a button. And then here's another one of those. Um, this is a tag from um, Lindsay Shop um, with some of that ribbon on it or lace on it. I'm sorry. And here's another tag that I I cut out and I put some fringy. Um, lace on it with a button and then I made a big card and I um, stenciled leave on there with a little flower and I distressed it around and then I put a flower up there and then I put some more um, ribbon up here for decoration that's that. Whoops. This I left open for journaling. This is for journaling. And then this is just some fabric that I added in here. This is a great big journaling card that Paula gifted me. And... She stitched it for me and coffee dyed it. I just love it. And so you have all this for, she has all this for journaling and then that whole open page. Here, I just put 
some cardstock here and some leaf trim and a button. And then I stenciled Hope with another leaf branch. And then here's Paula gifted me this tag as well. And I just put a button up here and just some of this. And it goes back in the envelope. Oh. Well, I got kind of butterfingers here. I'm clumsy right now. I can't. Okay. I did some more stenciling here. This says, I don't know if you can see it. Let me hold it up. It says dream. And I did it in blue. And there's the little leaf. It's really pretty if you were to see it in person. And then here, I did another pocket out of cardstock, and I put this pretty pink lace here, and I got a little baby card with the button, and then a great big card, and it says, and the story begins, and then some of that pretty lace. She got, she's got drooling on that, and then both pages. More journaling. This is a children's page. Children's page ledger. More journaling. Here is um, a pocket. I got this tag here with the button, this tag here with the butterfly, and then I made this tag. These are two um, twin sisters. This is from Tim Holtz pack, and it's Hello Friend, and it's got a button. There's that. Okay. Here's another pocket with the flower and some of that fringy lace. Um, another tag from Paula. And you can you can journal on the back. And here is a score pad, piece of paper, and I distressed around it. And I did um, stamp it. You can't probably see it very good up here. But it says, you are inscribed on the palm of his hand. So, um, got that. And then some more book pages. Another ledger. And then right here I got, I made a little itty bitty um, pocket with some trim and I got a baby ticket here and a little card plain card and another ticket that's probably stuck in here I'll have to get it unstuck yeah I'll have to get that unstuck later Here. And 
that goes behind it. Just like that. Here I put um, some um, fabric down. This is doily fabric. And then this is like some ribbon stuff. If you can see it, I'm not sure there's a glare, but see those pink flowers. I just love that, the pink flowers on it. And then I got this pretty flower with a little button up there. So she can just lift it up and journal if she wants. The other part of the ledger and a children's page. Here I put some more of that fabric. Get it in frame. Fabric on here and I put some lace. And lace here and then one of those little pretty beaded buttons and then we got some goodies in here this is a really cute card I really like this card from Paula as is this one she's got a lot of cute ephemera and so I put some doily um, material down here and a butterfly and a button and this is a guest check and then here's a note um piece of paper so those are all those goodies yes okay. here i just put some of this pretty ribbon here and a button. Here's another tag. I made a flower and a button on there. And then these are from, these are some tucks from Tim Holtz. And so yeah, I got this tag with some ribbon and this tag that go right in there. And then I got this mini one right in there. There is the other part of that material journaling page. I got this flower here on this this is a doily um, I believe Sarah gifted this to me from junk the, junk that treasure and I always do that I always put the cards in too soon before it dries yep and here's some more tags I just think she's so cute Here's another cute one and a postcard. That goes in there. And then this is some more journaling. I did put another stamp on there. I don't know if you can see it, but it says kindness matters and then some more and this stamp says little moments big memories so there's journaling there and then I put some more doily here and then I made a little pocket out of that tag and button. And then I just got a couple more of these cards. This is from Lindsay's shop. 
And this is from Sue Olson's, I believe. And that is the end of my journal that um, I hope she really loves this. I really love this. I thought it turned out really well. Um, so yeah, I hope she enjoys it. Like I said, I'll be back soon with my last um, Christmas journal. Um, it will be the last one I make for this year. And it is just about done and ready to be filmed. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to share it, hit the share button. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And hit the bell. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a good day.